Hello, this is Chad Payne with Ballpark DJ. In this video, I'm going to discuss the overlap between voice and music found in the Edit Player screen. To access the Edit Player screen for any given player, simply tap on the microphone and music note icons to the right of that player. If your player is set up with both voice and music, you will see the overlap represented with yellow and blue blocks. The yellow block represents the voice and is typically around five seconds. And the blue block represents the music, which defaults to 20 seconds, but I tend to recommend users set that music to a longer duration, such as 40 or 60 seconds, so they give themselves more runway after the voice is played. And you can always hit the stop button when it's time to stop the music when the batter steps into the box. Above the slider, you have text, which reflects where the music and voice begin and end. With our current setup, the music begins first, it plays for 20 seconds, and the voice begins 2.4 seconds after music begins, and then plays for six seconds until the 8.4 second mark. To adjust the overlap, simply drag the blue music block left to right, or tap on the right and left arrow buttons below the slider. Each tap represents one-tenth of a second. You can also long tap on the right and left buttons to make faster adjustments. Each time you adjust the overlap, Ballpark DJ will automatically play back the intro to give you instant feedback on that adjustment. Now, buddy, number one. There are two common approaches when selecting overlap. The first is to begin the music before the voice, let it play throughout the voice and beyond. The second approach is to start the music after the voice. So let's dig into both of those a little bit deeper. The first approach is the one I tend to prefer because it gets the music going right from the start and still allows you to hear the voice intro with the softened music during voice feature. So let's demonstrate that. Now, buddy, number one, Casey Boswell. So if you set up music to begin first, I recommend you start music at least two seconds before voice to give it time to start and time to fade down for the voice. And some Bluetooth speakers exhibit an issue that can clip off the first part of the voice intro because of the waking up of the Bluetooth speaker. That's another benefit of starting the music first. It does eliminate that issue. And the second approach of playing the music after the voice might be used in a situation where there's fast paced games such as coach pitch, where you just have to get that voice introduction played quickly or in a situation where you just want to hear that voice very clearly without any music overlapping it. So I would recommend if you're doing, taking this approach that you start the music maybe 0.3 seconds before the end of the voice. So let me demonstrate. Now betting number one, Kaysen Boswell. And I do want to mention a feature that's in our pipeline, not yet developed, but I hope to have it available soon. And we're very excited about called dynamic overlap. You may see that checkbox at the bottom of the screen as you're watching this video. What that is designed to do is to give you one play button to start the music and then another play button to dynamically start the voice when the time is right. So very excited about that. That'll allow you to play as much music as you want before voice, and then as much music as you want after voice. We hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions at all about the overlap between voice and music, please email support at ballparkdj.com. Thank you.